Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about lights. So lighting is a very important part of any sort of video. Um, it, it's oftentimes used to set the mood. Uh, the lighting that you're gonna see in a movie like um, Breakfast Club. This is a very nutritious lunch. Is gonna be a lot different than the light that you find in Batman Returns, right? <laughs> You're not the mayor. <laughs> You're telling you have very different atmospheres, very different lighting styles, right? One's gonna be nice and bright, the other is gonna be dark and moody. Now, when you're making videos, you're gonna have an atmosphere that you're wanting to shoot for. Maybe you're telling a story as part of your video and you wanna convey the seriousness of a situation. And so you go with just kind of some, some very dramatic lighting like this. Maybe you are going for a tone that's a little more casual and fun. So you're gonna go with something like this, right? Or, you know, learning experience type stuff, right? It's kind of talking head content, right? Um, or maybe you're going for kind of a mysterious look, in which case maybe you go with just like a very dim light, right? Maybe it, maybe you're trying to tell a story. Maybe maybe the lighting is really warm, right? Like it's maybe it's late in the late in the afternoon. Maybe it's candlelight, right? Something like that. You can use lighting to tell a very interesting story and really set the mood. If I'm trying to um, create the atmosphere, so for example, um, Christmas Carol, right? I love the Christmas Carol. The line, Scrooge likes the dark because it's cheap, right? Or darkness was cheap and Scrooge liked it, right? That's a, that's a line, I think. What's the line? What's the line exactly? Darkness was cheap and Scrooge liked it. If I say darkness is cheap and Scrooge liked it, and it's bright and sunny like this, haha, -ha, then that doesn't convey the message of the darkness that Scrooge is not only experiencing in real life, but this darkness that Scrooge is, is embraced fully in his heart, right? You see how lighting can kind of ch change the distance? Like if I say darkness is cheap and Scrooge liked it, and the lighting's like this versus darkness was cheap and Scrooge liked it. Right, the lighting goes a long way to telling that story. So let's talk about that. So when you're telling stories, you wanna understand what kind of lights you need to be using. So let's turn off all the lights. We're in pitch black. The darkness was cheap and Scrooge liked it, right? Now, the first kind of lighting you're gonna to wanna to play with is basically the, the key light. We'll turn that on right now. So the key light is gonna be one light. This is a one light setup that you have that illuminates your subject and helps to uh, just helps us to see the light, uh, see the subject. Now, what you have here with this, light is at a 45 degree angle, 30 degrees up, okay? Now, what this is called specifically is called Rembrandt lighting. Now it's called Rembrandt lighting because if you look at the, the light right here, my nose is casting a shadow right here that connects to the shadow on the cheek, right? And I'm left with this little triangle of light right underneath my eye. This kind of lighting style was made very popular by Rembrandt in his portrait. So hence why it's called Rembrandt lighting. Now, again, 45 degree angle to the side, 30 degrees up, pointed down at the subject. That's gonna kind of be your, your secret sauce to lighting if you want good lighting, right? Now, there's two things about this light. One, it's very dramatic. There's very, I mean, the shadows are very dark over here on the side of my face, on the side of my nose. Right, and it's very, it's very dramatic. It's very contrasty. Right now, you may like that. That may be the vibe you're going for. However, you want to set that up. You can do some pretty cool things with, with lighting. Now, let's say you want to, uh, you don't want these harsh shadows here. Then you're going to introduce what's called a fill light. Now we're going to turn off the key light and turn on the fill light. Now you'll notice right off the bat, fill light, lot dimmer than the key light. And the reason being is because you don't want to kill the shadows. You just kind of want to bring them up a little bit. So we'll turn on the key light and you'll notice the shadows are a lot less. So no fill light, fill light, no fill light, fill light, right? Shadows are, shadows are not all the way gone, right? If I turn down this light a little bit, you can still see them pretty well right here, kind of along the line. This nose shadow is, is greatly reduced now, but you can still see that triangle of light over here. Maybe it's a little more disconnected, but all in all, it's uh, 
pretty good. I mean, I can't can't really complain. But this helps to kind of elevate the mood a bit. Um, now you'll notice, again, the light very dim compared to the key light. That's because if we bring the key the fill light up to where the key light is, you'll see all of a sudden I am a ghost. I have flat light. All of the the light triangle here completely gone. I'm just kind of left with these little shadows right here because I'm fat. <laughs> so my cheeks here kind of coming together like that. It's not really super flattering. Um, and just, I hate these. I hate these. So if we turn this down. I still have them a little bit, but they're complemented more by this light. This shadows comes out more, so it kind of helps to hide that. And it's not that big a deal. Now, after that, okay, we'll turn off all the lights again. We have our key light, we have our fill light. Maybe now you want to introduce something called an edge light or hair light, which is this. Now, hair lights right here. Okay, you can kind of see the little, little bottom tip of it. But what this light does, we'll turn off all these other lights. You'll see that now I have this light on my hair. Okay, hence why it's sometimes called a hair light. It's called an edge light because it's on the edge of my silhouette. Right? What this does is it helps to introduce a little bit of separation from the background. So maybe I want to turn it up a little bit. There we go. Get a little bit more separation. This is very popular with, with um, kind of like tech YouTubers I've noticed do this a lot. Um, yeah, this is very much a stylistic choice. If you have kind of a busier background, you might consider using this. I have a pretty busy background, but I also don't like hair lights. I, I feel like it distracts from the face. Every time I see a hair light, all I'm doing is looking at this part of a person's head. <laughs> so I don't really like them, but it might be a look that you're looking for. Um, I know like Harris Heller ha well, religiously uses a hair light, right? He rarely ever records without one. So if you're a Harris Heller fan and you like his style, hair lights, that's how he does it. Now the key to this, just like with your, your, uh, just like with your key light and your fill light, 45 degree angle back, 30 degrees up. Maybe this one's a little bit higher. Maybe this one's maybe another 45, 45 back, 45 up, pointed down at your, pointed down at your person, right? To get this nice, this nice edge light, hair light, light on the chair, right? Separation from the background. Um, now the fourth kind of lighting and the final kind of lighting that I really want to go over is what's called practical lighting. Now, practical lighting would be like these RGB lights here or this ring light up here, right? Just they're lights in the background that bring interest to the frame, right? And these could be any sort of lights. I have, for example, these lights right here that I can use. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could turn these on, you know, and put these, I don't know, put them somewhere. They're magnetic. You know, I could put them somewhere in the background and have some visual interests going on or you know maybe even and this would also be a, an application of practical lights you know maybe i have them on my desk to just add a little splash of color you know i just want to add a splash of color to my face right i can also have these right on the side sometimes you can even replace your key lights with them if you really want a really dramatic look like this this paints a very interesting picture of like, do I choose good or do I choose evil? Am I a Jedi? Am I a Sith? Am I, am I a Slytherin? Am I a Gryffindor? You know, th things like that. Uh, you could be, you could do all sorts of crazy, cool, fun, fun things with RGB lights, right? Whatever you want to do, you know. It, again, you're pay you're telling a story with these lights. At the end of the day, I mean, you you do what you want to do. See, I can even use these as key lights. These are little teeny tiny lights, right? There, there's your key light right there. Key light, fill light. I'm looking schmeck, I'm looking fancy. These things are cheap too, which kind of brings me into my next point of that you don't need to spend a lot of money on lights to get good lights. I think I got these from Ulanzi for like 30 bucks maybe. These are cheap. They have quarter, quarter 20 mounts right there on the bottom. They're magnetic. I, I could put these almost anywhere I want and they're gonna look they're gonna look good they're rgb i can connect them together and get a longer light if i really wanted to uh, the, the world is your oyster right now keep in mind these lights 
they're great. I love. I actually really like these lights a lot. I'll link them down below. Oh, there's a candle right there. I mean, you can't you can't beat these little lights. These little lights are great. Like, that's that's awesome. Like that's some good lights. Now you you they are smaller, so you're either gonna need to bring them closer to your face or turn up the brightness more. But guys, at the end of the day, what I don't want you to do is go out and blow your money on a bunch of stuff. If why why do with 15 lights what you can do with one light right i mean this this works just fine for most people maybe you throw in some rgb lights in the background and there you go you save 200 bucks you know <laughs> this is this is perfectly acceptable lighting and so so i mean lighting lighting is used to tell a story lighting is used to set an, a mood and an, an atmosphere in in a video when you're telling a story so think about that when you're when you're making your videos when you're live streaming and you, if you're just playing a game you're not really telling a story and I'll, I'll just be straightforward you're not telling much of a story at that point you're mainly just saying hey let's chat right in which case what's wrong with this right if we're just chatting what's what's wrong with this it's great i love it it's awesome you don't need crazy lights i don't always tell you that you don't need crazy equipment right I have this because I, I, I teach people and it makes it easier to teach. That's really it. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment with what you're thinking about purchasing your next light. And if you want to see some cool tips about cameras and how to save money on some cameras, check out this video right here. It'd be pretty cash money of you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Turn all these lights off.